Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is Eros and we're currently in Early Access version 0.3.0 and we are with the Berry Leaf Tribe and we are trying to breed up a bunch of healthy and strong uh, creatures that we can eventually one day take to the jungle but we're still working on it. Um, it might be a couple more generations until we finally get to where we want to be but we are currently here with Poke who is go currently like the leader right now and his two mates um, and their children, their legacy uh, because they have some very interesting immunities and we're able to get some of uh, like a big variety of different immunities so poke has f and b and then his one mate lilac has g and h immunity and clover has g and c immunity so we're able to get a variety of different things and they've had four children um we've had little nightingale over here let's see let's take a look at you nightingale 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 come on and look at her, like, all these children are, like, so beautiful. Uh, but little Nightingale over here who has C and F immunity. And she is pretty healthy across the board. And she's very strong, too, which is nice. Then we have little Tulip over here who apparently is very strong and a really good fisher. Um, but I don't believe she has... Yeah, she doesn't have any, like, um, water breathing abilities. So it's not really the best thing for her to have fishing. But she is, you know, very good after all. And then in the last episode, we... Um, had these two born, like, right at the end, and I've renamed them. Um, I think I named one Sky, and then I don't think I've named the other one. Um, but I renamed Sky to Thistle. So we have a little Thistle here, and he has G and B immunity. He does carry some not-so-good traits, though. He has the short-sighted eyes and is recessive, and he also carries hemophilia, so that is definitely something that we're going to try to get out. And then over here, I named him Oakpaw. And Oakpaw has H and F immunity, and he is a lot healthier um, than his brother. He doesn't carry, uh, I don't think, any really. He has normal blood clotting. He has this stinky tail, which is good. Uh, he has normal eyes. He has normal hind legs. He has claw and runner's leg. And he has normal body. So, and he has ram horns, so he's pretty strong. He's a strong Oakpaw. Um, but I'm really happy and excited to see uh, where these creatures and, like, this family leads. And these are currently, I think, the only like pairing of creatures that I'm actually breeding right now. We do have the Blackberry clan. I guess we call it the Blackberry clan as a part of the um, berry leaf tribe, I guess. I don't know what's the correct word for it, um, which is all of the creatures with um, melaninism, uh, which is a unique, uh, different trait that they can have uh, where they turn like all black in color, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Um, but they're, they're not the best uh, for the jungle. Did I change somebody's name? Sometimes I change their names when I do that. Let's see. Was it Blossom? No, I didn't change anyone's name. Um, but we do have a bunch of those, and a lot of you guys were saying, oh, I want you to breed um, some of the Melanism or some of the Blackberry tribe members because they're so adorable, and they are. So we'll have to see. And I do want to breed um, Charm. She is an albino creature, so maybe I will breed her with uh, one of the Melanism creatures. But let's see. I don't think there was a good one. Uh, I think Shadow, who passed away in this episode, would have been, or last episode, would have been perfect to breed with Charm, but unfortunately, like, he was just too old and he passed away. Um, but let's see, G and H, so we could potentially get a very unhealthy baby, but I think they all, G and B, yeah, they all carry the G, um, but I think I might go for it. Uh, we might as well. Uh, they don't have any moves right now, so maybe in the next turn I will breed them. And then we have a little bounce over here, which I think is actually the daughter of Charm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have her pop out of the nest and start collecting some berries. We are working really hard on collecting tons and tons of food for our tribe, and we're doing really well at it, too. We almost have 300 food, which is the highest amount of food I think I've ever had in... Uh, niche in like our own little tribe which is awesome I love it so much and we have tons of berry bushes open and so far uh, a lot of the members of this tribe have actually been born into the tribe I really want to see if I can find some more creatures um, wandering creatures throughout the islands which is kind of why we have the blackberry clan members kind of exploring out this way and searching uh, for brand new members to add to our tribe and they are kind of just running through here taking down berry bushes removing the grass there's another nest over here and trying to see if there's any other like 
creatures out here that would like to join our tribe to bring some new immunities, to bring some new abilities, and just to help us some, make some healthy babies, all the healthy babies. Um, here is little Dapple. We're gonna go ahead and collect these. And let's see, we're gonna have you, let's see, have you collect this grass. Why don't you go over here a little bit and see what's over this way. And then we have little Milky Way over here, which can actually come and pop over here and work on work on getting these different berry bushes. A little kit right there, a little Kit Kat. And then, all right, so we're gonna breed these ladies once again. Let's see, why don't we have Nightingale? She cannot move right now. And Tulip cannot move either. Can we have the boys cannot move out of their nests? Uh, so I think we're gonna have, let's see, Poke is gonna come over this way. I think. And then we'll have Clover pop in this nest and breed uh, with Poke. And then for Lilac, let's see, we're gonna have to make a new nest. And I think we do have enough, yeah, we do have enough uh, materials to do that. So we are going to just pop down a new nest. Uh, let's go ahead, let's use Pokes, there we go. And then now she should be able to make a nest over here. So we're going to have two new babies. So we're going to, I'm really excited to see like where this family takes us. Um, but there we go. And then everyone over there has to stay in the nest right now. Tulip is not able to get out of the nest right now. And I think we are good on moves. Let me double check and see. I want to see what we can hear. See if we see like or hear any carnivores coming. Because we were able to see a carnivore come uh, that one turn we did. And then what can we smell? Anything different? Oh, did I change the name? I hate that. I hate you doing that. Oh no, Ivy's gonna pass away. Ivy. Oh no, Ivy. Is this your last turn, sweetie? Oh my goodness, this is Ivy's last turn. We're definitely gonna have to send um, some other tribe members over there to uh, help us with those berry bushes. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, see these two brand new babies that are going to be born from Poke's line or his Poke's legacy of children. Um, ooh! <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I am so excited! Toxic body! We did it! Uh, so in the last episode, oh and we got oh we got a little um <laughs> a blackberry member born too. Oh that is amazing. Okay, so. <gasps> look at you you are our first toxic body creature and that means um <laughs> distasteful appearance so i guess uh creatures won't want to eat him as much um infects attacker with poison when being eaten um distasteful appearance plus one toxic body oh my goodness i am so excited look at this color it's so bright it's like a rainbow we're gonna have skittle babies oh my goodness oh my goodness so gene f immunity normal blood clotting Oh, this is so amazing. Normal eyes, uh, hind legs, runner's leg, claw. I love this. Uh, it's a little girl, too. Let's see. What should we name you? I kind of want to name you. Oh, my gosh. You're a beautiful, like, blue color. Should we name you? Oh, uh, let's see. We can name you, like, blue. Let's name you blue claw. We're going to name you blue claw. I'm kind of taking inspiration kind of from... Uh, the warrior cats uh, for different name ideas but we have little blue claw here oh my goodness that is so amazing oh, i love it and let's go take a look we have a little boy born over here with h and f immunity um unfortunately has a little bit of hemophilia but it looks like um normal eyes normal hind legs claw and runner's leg normal body all right so he is a very healthy little boy so that is pretty awesome other than the fact that he does have hemophilia um, but we're gonna go ahead and name him Raven. Um, one of you guys suggested that I name one of the uh, Blackberry members Raven. Oh, and who are you? Nightingale! Oh my goodness! I didn't realize how beautiful you were! Oh my goodness, she changed! Like, I mean, I guess she didn't change, she just got bigger, but look how beautiful she is! She is be- oh my goodness, she is gorgeous. She's a gorgeous- Gorgeous creature. I'm just in love. I'm in love with this tribe, guys. I'm sorry I get so excited, but she's so beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and move Oak Paw um, out of the nest over here. And then we can go ahead and take Thistle. And let's go ahead and move him down here for now. And then we're going to put Clover um, in this nest over here. And then let's go ahead and take Lilac, and she can go ahead and pop in this nest. And then, let's see, where can we put... We should be able to put... Yeah, let's just put Poke right here. And he should be able to 
breed with his two beautiful mates. Um, I am so excited about, oh my gosh, look at, we have toxic body. That is so amazing. Um, let's go ahead and breed those ladies. Let's go ahead and get these berry bushes. There we go. I just, I can't get over it. This is my first creature with toxic body, blue claw. She, oh, look at her eyes too. Like her eyes have different, like, Oh my goodness like look at their like she's beautiful like look how like amazing like i love niche niche is such a good green like they did such an amazing job and like they update so often and oh, yes niche top favorite games for 2017 <laughs> oh my goodness i am just i'm intrigued i'm so excited i love it all right so let's go ahead and move around uh, collect some berries, do all the berry collecting, 11 getting all the food. Uh, let's go ahead and move Mars. Let's see, let's double check and make sure nobody's gonna get eaten. Oh no. <laughs> Our, oh. She did such a great job taking care of these berry bushes over here. I guess we can move. Uh, see, Milky Way doesn't really have anything going on. We could move Milky Way over there. Uh, let's go a little bit more this way. I want to see if we can see. Oh, there's a mole right there. Holy moly. There's a mole. Let's go ahead and move that. We're gonna go ahead and take down this berry bush because that's what we do over here. All right, so no new newcomers over there. Uh, and I guess we're gonna try to breed Shade and Charm just to see what happens, especially since Shade is getting older. And I wanna see what happens if we can have a little like albino baby, um, just cause I'm so, uh, I just think it's so awesome to have like all these different, like different, uh, Creatures with different, oh, there's a bunny. Different variations. Uh, oh, can we have, um, Bounce probably won't be able to get that while he, let's go ahead and move Bounce over here. <gasps> he can dig, oh, he can dig, that is amazing. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get these, so many berries. And we can go ahead and move Sage over here and collect these berries, nice. And then Blossom, she's really good at collecting these nuts that are under this tree. And then we can go ahead and get Dawn to collect the berries over here. And then Greymore, go ahead and collect these berries. We are getting some creatures that are getting kind of old, uh, which is going to be sad. <laughs> oh, I don't like it when my creatures pass away, but that is the circle of life. That is the circle of life. Yeah, let's see. Milky Way, can you get this bunny? You can. Good job, Milky Way. Awesome. Awesome, Milky Way. All right, so we're going to have two babies born over here. And then uh, Charm is actually going to have a baby of her own, too. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what her baby is going to be. And a little melanism creature. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Double G. I'm so sorry. Ravon. Oh, I'm so sorry. So he was born, unfortunately, sick. Um, oh. Oh, that is so sad. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna name him. Uh, let's name him Sharp. Sharp Tooth. <laughs> Um, S H A R sharp tooth. Oh, poor sharp tooth. Poor little sickly sharp tooth. Um, he has normal eyes though, but he has nimble fingers, so he will. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, the time that he has with us, like, oh, and she's gonna pass away too. Oh no. Um, so he will be able to collect some food for us, but unfortunately, he is born a little bit sickly. Oh, I'm so sorry, sharp tooth. I'm so sorry. Um, but at least it's raining. <laughs> You gotta look at the bright things in life. Uh, but let's go ahead and collect this. We weren't able to get an, another albino baby. And I don't know if I'm gonna breed Charm again. Just because I don't want to risk getting more unhealthy babies. Because I'm trying to breed healthy creatures. And I just, I get really sad. I don't want, I don't want any unhealthy, no unhealthy babies. But let's go ahead and start moving out this way a little bit. Another berry bush. We're just gonna take that down. Because that's what we do here when we are exploring um, since we do have a lot of food anyways, there we go, we can explore this way. And then, let's see, I want to move someone over there, but everybody already has like a post where they're working really hard collecting um, berries. There's a little bunny over there, can we get the bunny? Uh, we're not going to be able to get him, are we? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we are. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> let's have Blossom uh, collect the different nuts that are over here. Let's go ahead and move her here so she can collect the nuts that are this way. And then, let's see, we can have you, hmm, Sage. I mean, I guess Sage doesn't really need to be over here. Uh, so we could move Shade, or him over here. And Hedge Jr., you can go ahead and collect those. And then let's go ahead and get these berries. Oh, the rain. Awesome. Such a fruitful tribe. I am thinking about switching or moving the tribe to another island um, fairly soon. 
just because we're not having good luck at finding like newcomers <laughs> like finding uh random uh wanderers and i really want to find some more wanderers so that might be something in the future um but for now i think we're gonna stay put maybe once we get some more babies born from pokes like legacy of creatures there we go lots of food and let's take a look at the new babies born Ooh, look at this we have a little girl with c and b immunity um she's normal blood clotting she does carry the hemophilia though unfortunately uh, normal eyes runner's leg claw normal um hind legs does not carry the toxic body um <laughs> like little blue claw over here but that's okay uh we're gonna name her let's see she kind of reminds me uh, we're gonna name her Dove. We're gonna name her Dove right there. And then we have another little girl born, and it looks like she she's a little bit stronger, and she does have she has the uh, <laughs> the stinky tail, which is awesome. She has H and F immunity. Unfortunately, carries hemophilia, normal eyes, claw, and runner's leg. So at least you know we're getting healthy babies. Some of them, some of them carry some little bad traits, but we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name you. See, what would be a good name for you little one you're fairly strong we're gonna name you hmm <laughs> kind of want to name i'm trying to think because we have oak paw um let's see your brother oh i'm having a problem clicking on the creatures yeah oak paw right here and they kind of look similar she doesn't have the ram horns so i mean i guess they're all are kind of like a little bit dapple <laughs> um but it just reminds me of like oak tree for some reason but we're gonna name you Hmm, we're gonna name you Robin. I don't know why Robin. Maybe because you're beautiful, <laughs> green eyes. Um, but we're gonna name you Robin. All right, there. And then let's go ahead. Let's move Blue Claw out of the nest over here. And there we go. We have fixed Tulip's name, so she's no longer SSSSS. <laughs> and let's go ahead, move little Raven um, out of here. And let's go ahead and pop the ladies. I mean, we're gonna have to repair the nest, but we do have enough material to do that. So let's go ahead and move Lilac um, over in this nest right here. And then we can move Clover over in this nest and repair that. And then Poke can do his duties and uh, breed some more creatures, make some more babies. Oh my goodness. I hope we get some more toxic body creatures and I hope we get like different colors. <gasps> it's gonna be so awesome. And I can't get over how beautiful Nightingale is. Like she's like, oh, she's so pretty. I love it. I love it so much. Um, all right, so little oak paw over here. You're going to help start collecting some of these berries. We can go ahead and move thistle uh, kind of over this way too and help collect the berries that are over here. And then nightingale. Ooh, I might have to see if I can find you a really good mate. You have C and F immunity. Let's see. F and H. So not you. You have G and H. On C and F immunity, G and H. Anybody good? No, I don't know. I think a lot of them have the same, like, pretty similar. Oh, let's see, Sage, H and B. H and B, H and B, H and B. So maybe, um, Sage. Um, C and F. We'll have to see maybe about sh Shade. Poor Graymore, he's gonna pass away, so I'm not gonna think about him as a potential mate. Um, let's see. Wafer, F and H. Mars, he's gonna pass away soon too. <laughs> Dapple? Um, yeah, I don't. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Maybe Dapple. Let's see. He's really cute. Dapple's cute, and they, maybe they can make some really cute, like, little squirrel babies together. Uh, yeah, I may, may do Dapple. Let's see, Runner's Leg, Claw. Yeah, they're gonna make some healthy babies. Maybe we can breed out the short-sighted eyes. So I guess I'll start moving Dapple kind of this way to get a little bit closer to, or not Dapple, but moving Nightingale a little bit closer to Dapple over here so they can potentially meet up and have some babies of their own pretty soon. Um, but let's see... Let's do a quick check and see if we can hear or smell anything mysterious going on. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all. And what can we smell anything? Nope. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what type of babies we're going to have born in the next turn. And, ooh, ooh, look at you. You look very similar um, to Nightingale. Well, just with like your black. Do you have black? Black fur, you do. And black fur is actually pretty good for the jungle too. 
Um, and look at, oh, look at Blue Claw. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. I love this. I love this family. <laughs> but look at you. Oh, so we had um, a Nightingale and you're a little boy. I kind of want to name you Knight. Let's see, Knight in Shining Armor. No, uh, Knight Stealth. Night year, um, let's see, night stinky. No, <laughs> we're gonna name you night. Ooh, we'll name you night runner because you have double runner's leg. Little night runner here. So there we go, little night runner. Awesome, a little boy, and then we have a little girl. Ooh, look at her. She has this beautiful, beautiful white ram horns, just like her father. Um, H and P immunity. Uh, she does carry hemophilia though. Uh, she has a stinky tail. She's going to be a little squirrel baby, just like her mama. Um, she has claw and runner's leg, normal eyes. Oh, I love it. We're going to name her Acorn... Um, Acorn... Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's take a look over here. I mean, she's pretty, pretty strong. We're going to name her... Acorn Claw. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you guys like the different like names that I'm kind of like coming up with. Like, kind of based off of warrior cats or just like, um, what's the word? Inspired by warrior cats type of names. I think it's really cute. Uh, let's go ahead and move Robin out of here. A little dove can move out this way. And then we have, um, oh, let's click on you. You also have the beautiful white horns um, born dove over here. So let's go ahead see am i clicking on you no not you how do i click there we go we got oak paw oak paw there we go yeah. and let's go ahead and move the ladies back in the nest and see what we can get there we go awesome hopefully I get some more babies born with toxic body because it was just so amazing to see oh, look at you blue claw you're so amazing let's go ahead and have you collect some of these berries over here and we're gonna start moving let's move thistle let's see find you another berry bush to kind of help over with the clan we can move you over to these ones over here and then a tulip uh we can start moving out too there we go little nightingale is making her way to visit with dapple when she's old enough to breed so now they have met oh there's a nest over there too that they can use together um, so let's go ahead and move over there. Let's get these berries. And let's go ahead and have Milky Way collect these. And then Kit can go ahead and get those. Nice. And a little raven. Uh, let's go ahead and move her as, or him as well, excuse me, um, out this way to get closer to these berry bushes so they can start collecting up more food over there. And oh, I'm so excited. So excited for my babies. Toxic body babies. I need more. Need more of them. I want more. I want a rainbow. Um, I want a I want rainbow babies. <laughs> rainbow babies. That's what I want. Um, I just think that's so cool. A um, little sage. You can go ahead and collect that too. Shake that tree. There we go. And then blossom. Uh, you can also collect the acorns too. I guess, yeah, sage can help collect acorns as well. So maybe I'll move Dawn um, over to these bushes and then sage can kind of hang out over here by those nuts. Um, Wafer can go ahead and get those. And then we can move um, all poor um sharp tooth oh your mom your mom oh so sad uh and then bounce you can go ahead and get those there's a little bunny over there kind of want to get it not gonna lie we got it there we go got the little bun bun and oh you're all by yourself now little zen oh zen is gonna pass away soon too poor zen poor zen let's see how far can you get zen how far can you ex oh get that mole how far can you explore on your own oh, Poor Zen. Poor, poor Zen. And then you can go ahead and collect these berries. And then Mars. Let's see. You can come over here. Collect the berries that are over there. And let's go and see. Let's see. Yeah, nothing else for Crow to do. But let's see what type of babies we're going to have next with these two lovely little ladies. And more little beautiful dapple babies. Um, we have a little girl. And we have a little, uh, two little girls, two little girls born. Um, so I'll have to think of their names in the next episode. But I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Niche. And let me know if you are excited as well for these beautiful, little, gorgeous, amazing Skittle babies. Rainbow babies. Rainbow babies. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. <gasps> Love it. But I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.